Hi friends, welcome to AIMS Today YouTube channel. In today's IIT JE Foundation class from mathematics subject, real numbers topic we are going to learn. So let us learn the basics first. So before going to learn this special number, real numbers, so first of all, we have to know all the previous number systems so that we can define what real numbers are. So first, uh, let's start with the counting numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the numbers starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that, whatever numbers we have, these are all considered as natural numbers or counting numbers. The symbol for natural numbers is N. So if we add, if we add 0 to the natural numbers, then the second set of numbers is called as whole numbers and the symbol for whole numbers is W. So in whole number system along with the natural numbers the zero is included. If we add minus one, minus two, minus three like that negative numbers to the whole numbers means to zero and to the positive numbers. Then we will get one new number of system that is considered as integer system and the symbol for integer system is j. So not only this positive numbers, negative numbers and 0, we also have numbers like 1 by 2 a positive fraction, minus 1 by 3 a negative fraction, 0 0.5 decimal or we can call it as terminating decimal. 0.3456 dash 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 non terminating non repeating decimal are the numbers which are in the form of p by q so these are all these all different numbers along with the integers if they are combined then we will get a new system of numbers that is called rational numbers denoted by the symbol q now we have got almost all the types of normal numbers. So natural numbers, 0 is added means whole numbers, negative numbers added means integers, fractions, decimal numbers added means rational numbers. So this rational numbers, it is one set of numbers consisting of natural numbers, whole numbers and integers. Apart from this rational numbers, we also have one more kind of numbers which are called as which are called as irrational numbers, which are called as irrational numbers and the symbol for irrational numbers is i. So here in irrational numbers again we have two types, real algebraic numbers, transcendental numbers. So here if you observe the numbers like root 2 minus root 3, 1 plus root 5 by 2, here oh, root 2 means what does it represent? We know the value of root 2. It is 1.414 something. 414 dash dash dash. Like that its value will come. So means it is a decimal number which cannot be written in terms of a fraction. This is a decimal number. Root 2 is such kind of number which cannot be written in the form of p by q which cannot be written in the form of p by q. So that kind of numbers, minus root 3 also like the total. So that kind of numbers are termed as real algebra numbers. So we have another kind of numbers called transcendental numbers. So pi e minus 2 pi. So actually what are these transcendental numbers? So in mathematics, a transcendental number is a complex number that is not an algebraic, algebraic number that is not a root of non-zero polynomial equation with integer, integer coefficients. So means this pi will never be the solution of any algebraic equation. It won't be the root of any equation. Means it won't be the solution of any equation. So that kind of numbers are known as transcendental transcendental numbers. So here the 
algebraic numbers and transcendental numbers are together handled as irrational numbers. So transcendental numbers means they cannot be written in the form of, sorry, real algebraic numbers means they cannot be written in the form of P by Q. So transcendental numbers means they are, they are never be the solutions of any algebraic equation. So these two together are called as rational numbers. Now all these numbers together we can call them as real numbers denoted by the symbol R. So real numbers we can consider as a superset of all these subsets. Now let's see how to define how we how do we define real numbers. So real numbers means just now we have discussed it may be a zero it may be a positive number, it may be a negative number, fraction, terminating decimal, non-terminating decimal, real algebraic number, transcendental number. It may be any kind of number, but it can be represented on the number line. So all the real numbers, they can be represented on the number line. Even the transcendental number like pi also we can represent on the number line. It is somewhat risky, but we can represent on the number line. So the numbers, the, all the real numbers from 0 to this transcendental number, all can be represented on the number line. So they are called real numbers because they are not imaginary numbers. So in this way, we can define the real numbers. So thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates from our channel. Thank you.